Here's the tip of the week. Are people saying you were defensive? Have you gotten that feedback before? Have you noticed at times when you are down on yourself and don't have a positive sense of who you are, you might be listening defensively? Have you had the experience of asking someone, do you know where my jacket is? And they respond back with, why? Do you think I took it? You always blame me. And you're kind of like baffled about how did a very simple question turn into a defense and then an attack. So the art of active listening is about hearing the content, the emotion, and possibly the speaker's intentions. However, when you have loud, negative, and self-critical thoughts that may produce feelings of guilt, frustration, sadness, anxiety, shame, or anger, you are already full, 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 right up to here. Um, and any other information from outside gets mixed up with the internal struggle and does not allow you to take in the message accurately. If you observe yourself responding in a defensive manner or receive feedback from others about not hearing people and acting defensively, then it is time to check your own internal dialogue. If you observe that you only get defensive with certain people or certain dialogue, then notice what about them uh, or what they say, the topic of what they're saying triggers you and it triggers you in a negative way. Uh, those are the ones that the thought process that shows up inside of you as a reaction to someone else is, is yours. So we've got to get to know what they are. Getting clear about what upsets you allows the observation of the source of the upset so it can be cleaned up. You want to know where it comes from. This process allows you to be responsible and accountable for your thoughts, your emotional process, and your action. So getting clear internally also allows you to be open to hearing messages from others clearly and as they are intended. And I'm not saying that people might not intend to, some, to say something negative about you, but the point is, can you hear the negative concept and see if it's theirs or yours or what is it that you can distinguish? So if you find yourself arguing in your own head and with others frequently, and then you're occupied with some negative self-talk that needs to be noticed, distinguished, cleaned up, and cleared. These negative thoughts could be about generalization or generalizing some matter about yourself, such as I'm bad, I'm a failure, I can't do anything right. Um, and then you hear everything from that. Or they can also be generalized thoughts about others, such as no one likes me, people are rude, everyone's an idiot. Um, and that's how then you would view the world. Most generalized beliefs are not accurate. And many variables can be found to dispute the accuracy of those generalized beliefs that you have. So distinguishing what is real and what is catastrophizing fiction will help you see the reality about you and other people. It's much more efficient when you can act upon reality versus holding a fantasy about yourself and others, which be the negative ones you probably go around with the negative ones versus the positive ones. That's why you get defensive. So when your head and heart are clear, you can connect with yourself and others in a loving manner and actually hear with the best of intentions. For more observational skills, go to my book, Life Reset, the Awareness Integration Path to create the life you want. And thank you for listening. 